Welcome to C Sparkles Corner and welcome. It is November the 7th, 2023. Woohoo, I actually got the year right. Okay. All right. And we're going to play together Caesar 4. And thank you for joining me. Okay. We, when you click on here, you get your settings, your video settings, your audio settings, and your interface, whatever that means. Okay. And this is your tools. Create scenario, edit scenario, main menu. Okay. That's for you to leave room. This is for you to load a save game, which we don't have any. Start a new game. Okay. Now, you got Kingdom. Okay. What is this? Republic. Scenarios. And other campaigns. Okay. Start with this campaign to learn how to play Caesar 4. Okay. Enter your name as governor. All right. C. Sparkle. C. Sparkle. Okay, I'm the governor. All right, governor. Okay, the rise of Rome. <laughs> your path of glory begins with Rome's Consolidation of Italia. A R R E T I U M. Rome has need of a governor. Rome has need of a governor to manage a fleeting settlement near Artium. All right, we're going to start. Welcome to your first assignment, Governor. What is a great city without people? Nothing. Your assignment, therefore, is to reach a respectable population of safe and happy citizens. Okay, we got culture, security, prosperity, favor. Our goal is a population of 500, and I put it on easy. We will begin. It's loading, 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 fairy princess. Okay. We are beginning. Now, this is Caesar 4. I have played. Let's get right to work. To start, you'll need some plebs to move into the city. As the labor class, plebs are the backbone of your city's economy. Build some insulae to attract plebs to your city. You will need four occupied insulae to move on in this assignment. Okay, so we're going to start building homes. One, two, three, four, five, six. You don't have to build your entire city on just the small piece of road that leads into it from the outside world. You can place roads yourself with the Build Roads button. One of the most important things that a Roman city needs is water. The fastest way to get your city up and running is by building some wells so that your people have a place to go and collect their own water. Use the water build button to place a well. While all decisions are yours to make as you see fit, you also have a group of advisors who can assist you by providing valuable information about the city. Your chief advisor will brief you on the most pressing matters in your city. Further details can be found by consulting the appropriate advisor. For example, the ratings advisor can show you how close or far you are from meeting your assignment goals. Visit your advisors by pressing the advisors button now. All right. The gods are not pleased with us. Our city is enjoying the fruits of as much trade as possible. Patricians are beginning to wonder where their taxes are going, since it is clearly not educated. With such a dull city, it's no wonder immigration is... 
Currently, there are no known enemy threats to the city. With so little worship, people are amazed the city still stands. While our city has some health care, it could certainly be better. Our city's supply of food is very low. The finances of our city are currently all in order. We do not have enough jobs for all of our workers. Some plebs have moved into the city. They will be eager to work, provided you accommodate their needs. So first you'll want to make sure you can feed your growing population. Place a grain field on arable terrain by clicking on the resources build button. Next build a grain farm close by using the same build button. Make sure it is connected to your road system or plebs won't be able to work there. Soon plebs will take up jobs at the farm. Okay. I'm lear we're playing this and learning it together. I don't know how to. How did I get so far away? The controls are different than Caesar 3. I'm looking on my phone. Okay. Caesar 4 controls. How do you zoom in and out and angle? Caesar 4. How do you zoom in and out for the PC? According to the Sierra chest, zoom in and out using the plus and buttons in the corner of the minimap. Click the arrow button at the top of the minimap or press the home key on your keyboard to restore the viewpoint. zoom out. Now, when I do it with them, it's different. I got that going around. Let's look at the settings. Interface. Okay. Okay.
I'm going to just hit every key on here. Message log closed. Okay, that's L. J. H. G. F. G. Okay. Let's try control. Shift. Alternate Z. Scroll up W, scroll down, scroll left and right, zoom in. A. It says the A button is to zoom in. It doesn't do that. L. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just have to play like this. Green box. All right. All right, here is our grain farm. Now we're going to make rows. All right. too far away. Ooh, my game has wolves. Woo! <laughs> I got it too far away. employees okay let's do it differently green field okay here it here we go We got grain field. Then we need a grain farm. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put it over there. All right. Decorative items like trees, hedges, and plazas will make the surrounding area more appealing to residents. They can help to offset eyesores like public works and military buildings. Try placing a few decorative items now. Use the desirability overlay to see which areas need sprucing. Granaries store large amounts of food and help you keep food closer to the people who need it. Build a granary nearby by clicking on the storage and markets button and wait for its workers to retrieve harvested food from the grain farm. Okay, we need a granary. We're going to put the granary right here. Well done. Your budding town is producing grain and storing it in a granary. All you need to do now is distribute it to the residents of the city. Build a food market somewhere near the homes of your plebs, but also near the granary. Market workers will retrieve food from the granary, then shoppers will visit the market to obtain food for their homes. By the gods, a fire has broken out. 
If you don't handle this matter soon, the entire city will be reduced to ash. Prefect offices send out laborers to put out fires and deal with criminals. Build a prefect office by using the government build button. Fine Roman architecture must be properly maintained as well. Over time, signs of wear can begin to show on buildings and eventually they may even collapse. Build engineer's posts to prevent this travesty from happening. You will need at least one active engineer's post and prefect office in order to move forward in this assignment. Okay. I expected the fire. The graphics is so much better. another house in place. Okay. I don't have the plaza yet to do it. Very good, Governor. The prefects and engineers will be sure to keep your city safe. Remember to consult your ratings advisor for the requirements to complete this assignment. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm going to consult. We do advisor. not have enough jobs for all of our workers. We're working on it. Who's unemployed? Okay, let's go up to thirty dollars. Harvest sectors. Unemployed plebs, three hundred and eight. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Our city is losing money. Okay. Trying to see where we got Okay. All right. We're getting there. Let's put up some decorations.
Okay. Put up some trees. Season four. Season four. Season four. We're playing season four. Our city is losing money. I'm going to delete some of these saves. Okay. Of course, our city's losing money. I don't have a, a tax collector or anything. <laughs> Let's put another well here. For the good of Rome, you have established quite a nice little farming village. As you move ahead in your career, always remember that every city in your charge will need these basic things in place if it is to survive and prosper. Now it's time to move on to your next assignment. Your career looks quite promising. The rise of Rome, your path to glory is consolidation of Italia, Verona. Roman power is growing and expectations are high that a colony at Verona will continue that trend. Good day, Governor. Since you did so well on your last assignment, Rome has decided to entrust you with a more vigorous challenge. As your cities grow, they will require more specialized services. The middle class equites will man these jobs just as your plebs do for heavy labor tasks you will find that the equites are not satisfied with the same simple life that the plebs are accustomed to. You will need to support a respectable population, but to complicate matters, you will also need to meet a minimum culture rating. Okay, let's begin. Shall we? Yes. Getting started. The first thing is always need a labor force who will produce food that citizens need to work. Prevent fire prevention buildings, maintenance. Get started by building up insulin and the basic necessities of Roman life. Okay. We've got food grains over here. Plaza one. Okay. You need to supply your people with goods if you want to keep them happy. I suggest starting with something simple, like pottery. To start, you must locate a source of natural clay in the city. It just so happens that there is some close by. Clay pits look like this. 
Place a clay camp near the clay pit by using the resources build button and make sure the camp is connected to a road. Workers do not need a road to get from the camp to the clay pit itself. Okay, well, we're going to first be concerned with farms. We want to make sure before we start building buildings that we have farms. Okay, grain farm. Clay digging camp. Road. Okay. Okay, we gotta find where we're gonna put our plebs. Let's put them right here. Three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna. Build a pottery factory to convert the raw clay into a finished product. Build a warehouse to store both the raw materials and finished goods. Now is a good time to get familiar with how the warehouse operates. Select your warehouse, then click on its orders button. The warehouse orders panel controls allow you to limit how much of each item the warehouse will hold. The master control at the bottom of the panel allows you to set identical limits for all resources at once. You will need to store some pottery to continue in this scenario. Ready? 
maken. Warehouse. Borders. Okay. Excellent. Now that you have a surplus of finished pottery, it is time to make it available to the city's households. Pottery is a basic good, so build a basic goods market near your citizens' homes to sell the newly made pottery. There are several different types of basic goods, and you should always make sure to provide one or two types as soon as possible. Okay, we're learning the game. There we go. It is time to consider the middle class, the equites. Just as you did for your plebs, build some housing for equites using the equestrian home button. Soon, some equites will immigrate to the city. While your plebs provide you with a labor force for manual tasks like transporting resources and manufacturing goods, your equites provide you with labor for sophisticated... ...sophisticated work. Water from a well is quaint, but...
Okay, there's two. The gods are not pleased with us. We do not have enough jobs for all of our workers. We're building our city. Okay, we've got two clay diggers camps. All right. Wanted to increase our pottery. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Woo, the wolves are my belly. Okay, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. All right. Look at that, my friends. My buildings are getting bigger. This will evolve with fountain water. Got fountain water right here. Got a bathhouse, and we got fountain water. All right, let's put a reservoir over here.
Okay, so we need a pump house. I did not know that. This is more stuff than they have in the scene in season three. Where plebs are content with basic goods, equites have more refined tastes and will want luxury goods as well. Luxury goods are procured in the same way as basic goods. First you must get the raw materials, then arrange for manufacture of the finished goods and provide a place to store and sell them. Furniture is made with timber, so build a timber camp to with luxury goods. We'll evolve with luxury goods. Okay. Bath house.
Good health is essential to support a large urban population and particularly to reduce the likelihood that a plague outbreak will occur in your city. Build a clinic using the healthcare build button near some of your city's housing. As residents acquire more goods and gain access to more services, their homes get upgraded to fit more occupants. Our city needs more workers. I just built some more houses. Our city is losing money. Our city needs more workers. The finances of our city are currently all in order. Rome considers your efforts to be mediocre. Well, we're getting there. We have the five culture. We got 1,400 people. Our city is enjoying the fruits of as much trade as possible. Immigrants would like to live in our city, but there is no room. There are a few areas of the city that would benefit from better health services. With so out. little worship, people are amazed that Patricians are beginning to wonder where their taxes are going, since it is clearly not education. We're learning. When you select any building, the selected...